Hi there, my name is Janina, I'm a fiber artist and I love to crochet plushies. I do weekly vlogs and you probably stumble across one of them or you are a returning watcher if you are so. Hello and welcome back. This week is going to be a super fun vlog because we are going to have a crochet along with all of my crochet besties from Germany. So this is what I'm doing here. I'm getting up and getting ready. And first of all, I had to record a reel and I wanted to celebrate my pattern release for this cute chubby reindeer. So I had to make myself a reindeer makeup to properly celebrate and market my new pattern release. Let me know in the comments what you think of this makeup. I just love it. I don't know. I'm twinning with my pattern. I love that. Okay, so first things first, I needed to pack a secret Santa gift for Leah and I made her this yarn bowl. I only could find like wooden yarn bowls and like not pink yarn bowls and her favorite color is pink. So I needed to crochet this reindeer coat for it, which I thought it would fit perfectly. Let me know in the comments what you think of it. I love the design. I just, I don't know, made it very last minute and I hope she liked it. And yeah, I don't know, my gift wrapping skills are not the best, but well, I mean, I gave my best. I have cute wrapping paper, so I feel like it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. And then I needed to pack. I don't know about you guys, but I hate packing. I feel like everybody hates packing, but yeah, it is what it is. But I had a yarn order coming in, so I quickly unpacked that one. It's a lot of Elise Veluto yarn, which I had to reorder some colors because I ran empty. And after quickly having my mind off packing, I of course continued and finished packing, which, yeah, I don't know. My backpack just contained a lot of goodies like the present for Leah, some yarn, some crochet stuff, my favorite plushies for some reels that we will be recording. And yeah, that's it. I finished packing. Yay, I'm so proud of myself. And then my boyfriend helped me get all the stuff down in the car, which was like more than it should have been for just a weekend. And can we talk about how dirty the rain made my car? I don't know. And I even packed my whole granny square blanket. I don't even know why I did this. And yeah, I don't know. Then it was time to go. And can we talk about my cute profile picture in the car? Ha ha ha. It's not like that now. And after two hours, I finally arrived. I hope you guys enjoyed my little carpool karaoke session. I always sing while driving. Let me know if you do that too. Um, and I thought it would be rude to not let you guys see that. Ha ha ha. Uh, here I crocheted a dino for a present we made for our friend Lina. You will see that in just a second, what that will be. And then we had a super cozy evening with some wine and a lot of chatting and I don't know, you can see how much we enjoyed our time together at least I did and I feel like all the others did too it was just a bunch of crocheters meeting and it was so 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 nice and I don't know yeah this by the way was the cutest plushie we had with us I feel like it is Pippo a penguin that Isa made and I just fell in love with it so much it was stuffed so firmly and I you can see that I loved it I loved it it was my best friend and of course we cheered with our wine and yeah as I said we had the best time ever And Lina had some gifts for us too without even knowing that we were planning a baby shower for her. She brought us stitch markers. She's having the cutest stitch marker shop. So if you are from the EU, please check out her Etsy. It's Lina Crochets. I will 
have a video of her logo in just a second but look at how cute her stitch markers are i love her love her love her i just placed another stitch mark order just that evening by the way <laughs> so yeah she influenced me and then we had some sushi and look at that set sushi just fell down uh but yeah it was so delicious i had gyoza for the first time ever i never had that before and here's my girl elisa and i sharing this baobab no what is it called again I, I don't even know it's like i don't i don't know it was tasty though and then we had a board game night and we thank you elisa for that um and i don't know yeah we just we just played for the whole night and it was so wholesome and fun and yeah i just i just enjoyed it so so much The next morning was all about content creation. We woke up super early, had a nice breakfast, and as you can see, we worked super hard, but also had a lot of fun. I found my soulmate, Elisa, here, by the way. Love you, girl. And, well, I found a lot of soulmates, but you, you get what I mean. And yeah, as you can see, we were full on work mode. It was so much fun. Actually having a baby party for Lena, and we're having the cutest gift ever. Look at that. That is so freaking, like, it's so adorable shoulder tap for ourselves yep. so serious i love it must truly go Babyname, sondern es ist ganz wild. Das würde bestimmt sonst Celebrity machen, Nostradamus. Ja. <lacht> ja. Ich habe Nancy. Drei Zutat hat. Ich habe Nuss. Kann das nur drei Ach, Zutat sein? Ich habe Nikotin. Ich habe Nuss. Ich habe Nervenleben. Oh mein Gott. Wird, wird bitte keine Mutter? Ich habe nicht hab vor. Wieso? Hello, you guys. I think this is the first time in this vlog that I'm going to talk to you like one by one. It has been an amazing weekend. It's Sunday now. I am home. I just quickly want to show you guys some little cuties. Leave you guys here for a sec. So, first of all, within the weekend, I finished my snowflake pattern that i started before you guys will see it after the weekend but i started it before the weekend and i finished it on a weekend so this is her she is so precious i feel like i'm super proud on the shape she's super chubby and i love that and yeah i don't know i love her i love the eyes these are the eyes that kim gave me my patron like you can see those snowflakes in there and it's just so super fitting i love this cute guy i just don't have a name for it yet but i will i'm sure i will come up with something i just love the droopy eyes by the way i never embroidered droopy eyes before and i don't know yeah i did i feel like uh it's i feel like droopy eyes for snowflakes like the sleepy look is just super fitting and then i also finished like a little surprise for hitting 10k on youtube because we hit 10k on youtube and i just wanted to say thank you to all of you like to my whole onion army community and for that i designed those little modifications for my reindeers wait let me clip my microphone to my shirt 
So I designed those modifications for my mini reindeers. So here is a little elf head and we have a Santa head also. They are super, 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 super cute, I feel like. And this also might be the right time to say that this pattern sewed already over like 350 times over the time span of only one week. And I'm just blown away by your guys' love on this pattern. You really like it. I love it also. It's it's such a quick make. You can make it in 15 to 20 minutes. Depends on how you're making it, how efficient you're making it. And those little elf heads or like elf and center heads are like, I will post them as a free modification on Instagram, but I think I'll post it on Tuesday. So I will have them on my Patreon before, of course. My patrons get them first. They get them today already. And then I'll post them for free on Instagram on Tuesday. And yeah, if you have the pattern for those reindeers, please make those head, heads. They are also super easy and quick to make. Like it's just like a little accessory. They are so cute. And yeah, just thank you guys all so much for all the love on this pattern. Yeah, but that's everything. So I think we'll enjoy the rest of our Sunday in a neighbor town where there's like a lot of forest and water and like nature <laughs> and we'll just go there and enjoy yeah i don't know the sun that's shining today on like this super pretty october day uh, october is definitely i feel like it's just my favorite month and i didn't know before uh, i knew that uh, autumn is my favorite season but i didn't know that october is the prettiest season uh, month in the season so yeah, I'll just pack my stuff, get my jacket, and then we'll get going. So this is it for this week's cozy vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Come in with me on this cute, wholesome crochet trip that we made. And I hope you will stay around until next week because I'm having a cozy, comfy crochet vlog every week every time on Sunday so if you liked this vlog please don't forget to give it a like to help me out and maybe comment something comment what you crocheted today while watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to not miss next week's vlog and all the other vlogs that I already have but I really enjoy having or like spending time with you guys and I hope you do so too thank you so much for watching and I really hope to see you in the next week's vlog bye